All right, now time for business news. We're going to head over to 680 News. And, of course, we have Richard Southern, who's filling in for Mike Apple all of this week. Richard, give us the latest. Well, first off, Tammy, uh, negotiations for NAFTA, the renegotiation process, will get underway today. And that means uh, Trump, after his off-the-wall news conference yesterday, will be meeting today with Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, along with the President of Mexico, Mr. Nieto. And they say these talks could possibly stretch in, into the new year. C Canada wants fewer by American provisions and more freer movement of professionals. But experts say, good luck with that. American politics moving in the opposite direction. Trump was elected on the promise to increase by American rules, not them. So NAFTA renegotiations getting underway today. Uh, meantime, uh, more corporate leaders in the U.S. are getting rid or uh, are dropping out of Trump's uh, uh, his um, uh, council, the job council he has. They take a look at this. Elon Musk from Tesla becoming the latest CEO to say goodbye to that council amid the Charlotte uh, Phil situation and Trump's news conference yesterday. Up until now, uh, many uh, CEOs were willing to work with Trump, but uh, they risk alienating their customers. So that list now growing of those who want off the council. Got a new most liked tweet this morning. World's most liked tweet. It's Barack Obama, and it's in relation to uh, Charlottesville. This was a, a tweet he posted on Saturday. It now has 2.9 million likes. Became the world's most liked tweet as of 10 o'clock last night. Uh, it reads, no one was born hating another person because of the color of his skin or his background or his religion. It was the beginning of a Nelson Mandela quote. Prior to this, Ariana Grande had the most liked tweet, the one she posted just after the Manchester bombings. All right, here's an interesting one. It's enough to freeze your budget. Tickets for the Frozen musical on Broadway have uh, went on sale yesterday, and within minutes, they were all sold out. And the secondary market, already insane. Balcony seats at the back of the auditorium for the Frozen musical, going for almost 10 thousand dollars each the show made its world premiere in denver we're looking at some video of that but it starts at regular its regular broadway run in february of course the movie was the highest grossing animated film in history and finally here's a really cool story are the mosquitoes bugging you this season maybe you're heading up to the cottage this weekend well there are now some crazy products on the market to help you fight mosquitoes and maybe have a good time while doing it. Take a look at this. First off, it's called the Bug Assault Lawn and Garden. Sells for almost 50 bucks. You shoot salt bullets and the mosquitoes, it says, explode in midair. Next, long handle bug sword for almost 13 bucks. You can pretend you're a medieval knight while swatting away mosquitoes. Uh, the Bugzooka vacuum can be yours for 24 bucks. It's a vacuum cleaner specially designed to suck up mosquitoes. And finally, the Mr. Duster Mosquito Sprayer for those who really have a mosquito problem. It sells for 264 bucks. It's a big fogger to get rid of all your bug problems. And when I go long doing business, Kevin gets out his uh, bug zapper and blower and he gives me a knock on the noggin, doesn't he? Oh, definitely. Richard. I, I just wanted to get back very quickly to the market reaction, of course, to Trump yeah. and, and what people have to understand about the, the, the world of business. Where you, you were saying earlier, some of the, the, the overseas markets are, are actually up. There's no, there's no reaction. It, it, uh, and there hasn't been, Kevin. Wall Street has had one of its best years. Yeah. Uh, old time highs almost every day. The Dow up almost 12% this year. Traders, they don't worry about Trump whatsoever. We've seen some weakness lately as regards the North Korea situation, but those tensions have, have eased off. Wall Street looks set to open higher today, and yeah, European markets, they're up quite nicely this morning. All they're, all they're hearing about is uh, the tax cuts. Are they still going to be happening? We're still betting on that. And that's all and let's not forget the, the economy in the U.S. and in Canada and elsewhere improving. Yeah. Uh, corporate earnings are strong. That's what's driving stocks, not Trump. All right. Thank you very much.